one of the most popular areas us ladies want to work is the back of our arms and our abdominals. So I've got some great exercises for you to target specifically those areas. So first one we're going to do, I'd like you to lay down on the floor. I want you to imagine you're going to bring the heels up, put the hands on the side of the thighs. And what I want you to think about is you're going to be squeezing in, focusing on the biceps, and your thighs are actually going to be pushing out. Are you ready on for this one? So as we come up, squeeze in, push out with your thighs, and back down. So are you ready for 20? Here we go. You've got one, two. I want you to breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Good. So thinking about the biceps, so the front of your arms, thinking about your abdominals as you lift. So how many was that? Are we there? That was your seven. That was eight. That was nine. Only 10 more left. So you are now halfway. Here we go. You've got 10, nine. Well done. Eight, seven. Keeping that chin off the chest, squeezing through your arms. You should definitely be feeling it right now. Four more, three more, last two, Whew. last one, and have a little break. Roll over onto your front for me. I'd like you to take your hand shoulder width, just slightly soften the arms for me. So you're going to be feeling this down the back of the arm. You're going to take the legs up into a plank position. Leading leg, you're going to take out, out, back in. We've got 10 leading each leg. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7. How are we feeling? You got 5. Four, I'm definitely feeling this one. Three, two, one. Let's go straight into the other side. Are you ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven. How are you feeling? Are you still there? Give me four, three, two, one. We deserve a rest after that one. We're going to be moving back over onto our back now. One of the main things as a PT I get asked about a lot is how do I work my waist? So, here's a very good exercise for you. One of my favourites. So it's called, it's an oblique twist, but all I want you to think about is trying to bring your opposite shoulder over to your knee, okay? So as we lift, you're going to extend that opposite leg. Are you ready? You've got 10 each side. 10, 9, 8, 7. Well done. Keep thinking about bringing that shoulder over towards me. Keep thinking about tightening up that waist. You've got four. You've got three. Give me two more. Now, no rest. Let's go straight into the other side, so change the leg over. Remember, opposite shoulder to knee. So as you lift and you reach, extend that leg. Here we go for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven left. You're nearly there. Six. Four more. Three more, so you should definitely be feeling on the waist. Two, one, ooh, have a little break. Okay, I'm gonna explain the next one to you. Probably won't do much talking as we're doing it, but just so you know, this is focusing on the upper body, so we're thinking about the shoulders. So what I'd like you to do, hand shoulder width, feet hip width, push your bottom up towards the floor, Try and keep a nice flat back if you can. And what I'd like you to do is extend one arm up and come back down, sinking into your shoulders. And again, lift and come back down. So are you ready for 20? Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, good. 
You might feel a bit of a stretch in your hamstrings, it's fine. Think about using those shoulders. You will be pleased to know you are now halfway. Think about toning up those shoulders, especially with the summer. You have six, five, four, three, whoop, two, and one. Ooh, I'm definitely warm after that one. You've got two more exercises left. So we're going to be focusing again. A little bit more onto the arms. What I'd like you to do, hand shoulder widths, the dready bingo rings. We're going to target a little bit of those. What I'd like you to do is lift up nice and tall onto your toes, and you're going to jump and switch, keeping nice and low through those arms. Are you ready? We've got 20. So you've got one, two, three, ten more. Well done. How do you feel? A bit warm? Feeling it through your arms? Feeling it in your abs? Perfect. Now, I've got one more for you. For the tummy, same forward position. But I'd like you to be on your elbows. And if you're on a towel at home, or if you're on a mat, I want you to use it a little bit like your guideline. So every time we move the lower body, try and reach the other side of either your mat or your towel, okay? So elbows go on, lift yourself up into plank. So again, pull up through your belly button, should feel it through your abs, and you're gonna step to one side of your mat, straight over to the other side. We have 20. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, I probably won't talk all the way through these. Otherwise, all you're going to hear is me heavy breathing at you. So we're going to keep going. Really focus on your abdominals. Can you give me 10 more? Yep. You've got 10. 9. 8. Only 5 left. 5. 4. Three, two, and your last one. And have a little break. Let the colour go from your cheeks. Well done, guys. You've just completed a very intense abs and arms workout. 